Greetings, dear ones, and welcome to this solstice transmission. So in the Northern Hemisphere, we are approaching the winter solstice, and in the Southern Hemisphere, you are in the energies of the summer solstice. And this is a great time to come into your own, your go within, and a time for stillness, a time for introspection. So when I was... Uh, a couple of days ago, when I was uh, tuning into the energies that is upon us, this sources energies that started with the 1212 portal, and right now we are experiencing Mercury retrograde as well. So, this is a great time for to go within, to really look within, to slow down, to come into stillness, to be with the you, and to really become aware of what is going on inside of you. And when I was tuning in to what Spirit wants me to share with you during this time, and what we all need the most right now, I had a beautiful, beautiful encounter with a great Ascendant Master who I haven't always been drawn to her on a more intellectual level, but this was the first time she really stepped forward and connected to me with me heart to heart and it was um, Anna the grandmother of Jesus and her energy was and it is such loving beautiful energies it is so filled with compassion and her message for me uh, and for me to share with you is the gift of grace is to be with ourselves and to connect with ourselves, all aspects of us, through grace, with grace. To have this deep, deep compassion for yourself, for whatever you are, where you are on your journey. So as this calendar year of 2023 is coming to an end, it is a time for us to slow down and to look in the mirror of where we have been, the, our journey in the past year. And I know for many, as yes, for me as well, it has been so deeply transformative. It has really changed all aspects of my life and really called me to the edge of everything in my life, everything, all my, everything I was holding on to and to really let go of everything that, that isn't serving anymore and all the false, false ways we are holding on to safe, safety or and where we allow fear to uh, to be the motivation in our lives um, and the core fear and to step into our full sovereignty, to our power, to who we truly are and what we came here to be. So it has been such a great year of tremendous shifts, huge expansion and ascension for many of us. So to really take the time to be with yourself and look on, on your journey so far and to just allow every part of you to be and to be embraced with deep love, with deep compassion. And I just want to bring forth the energy of this beautiful, beautiful being, Grandmother Anna, and to share her energies with you. So I ask you right now to come into your heart. Kintoro sheli riana nare ko suntoro shantare korono san. Enun lo ya hene arna ki a suntoro shai. E ki ar hena shino to shawat na ya te korosun. E suntre shintoro no shure ya hene korosun. Shuno ri sante ko hene atishar. So what she's sharing is that. 
you are all children of God, of the light. This human journey is not an easy one. We all have great courage to be here. So she's calling out for your to widen your perspective on yourself, on your journey, and to remember that you are divine beings. And to remind you of how dense it is for the light that we are and that we share to be and experience life in through this physical vessel that it takes great courage and you all are doing so very very well and she reminds you that all the ascended masters have been through this journey as well so they know they know the challenges that we are going through, and that it, she also wants to share with you that it's okay to break, to break and to break down. And she says that many times when we allow ourselves to completely break down is when our is when the, our protective shields breaks, and we break open, and allow the light to enter. And she says that every time you find yourself in pieces, dear ones, we are there with you. Corono he in Kirianana, Ulura na sente koson, your family of light, toson on all the beautiful beings because you are never here alone. You do not walk alone. Ke centre koson to Ariane, ke centre Juliana, Ananaya toshana, and now she just wants to heal your heart as you embrace yourself with love. Kirena Corona. And as you do, she multiplies that, lo that love that you hold for yourself. So whatever you invest right now in accepting yourself, in loving yourself, in self-love and self-compassion, she will multiply it. And I see Mother Mary stepping forward, Yeshua, Jesus as well, Mary Magdalene, and other beautiful beings, the Great White Brotherhood. And where you are not able to love yourself, accept yourself, they will do it for you right now. So whatever is broken in you, or you thought was broken, all the darkness right now, just bring it to the light. So you to share in Riante Corona. Eller här är ni kisjon och det är så sin ren. I vår nuku Santa Shani, i hörjan det sekoros. Och ni alla ni det är ni kan. I så sjön och nu är det jag ska ta steg upp. To awaken to who you are, Santa Ria Tarana Koto, and the love that is surrounding you, the love that is you, sjön och nu kotos. She says, children of the light, you are love. There's nothing to fear. Slow down and learn how to receive. That's her gift as well, for us to learn how to receive. Awakening their compassionate heart, the case in the real. It starts with you, dear one. Hmm. She holds you. 
She holds you. So be wherever you are right now. And know that that, that is okay. Whatever you are feeling, whatever you are, exper- are experiencing right now, it is okay. You're doing well, dear ones. You're doing so well. And you are blessed. And we are held. And you are loved. And so let us open our hearts in gratitude for everything we receive, for Grandmother Anna and for all our beautiful family of light, for everyone who's walking this path with us, for this beautiful community. May you be blessed. Thank you. <laughs>